Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone and welcome back to Allah Loves. So last time we talked about this concept of praying on time. Obviously what precedes the prayer is wudu, is our ritual purification. But wudu comes out of a larger concept of cleanliness, of purity, of tahara. The Prophet peace be upon him said that it is half of faith. And a lot of people that came out of the Sunday school system or went to the masajid or had aunties or uncles that constantly told them that you have to be clean and you've got to do this a certain way and do that a certain way, never really fully got to grasp the love of Allah that is embedded within this concept of purifying oneself. Allah tells us in the Quran about those people that are established within the masajid, within the mosques, that in it are people that in it are men and women that love to purify themselves and Allah loves those who are pure. This type of purity obviously is referring to, again, the physical and the spiritual, but it's a greater level of purity than simply doing wudu, than simply washing yourself. The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us to take care of removing impurities from ourselves, of uh, making sure that our wudu is done carefully, not quickly, that every part that it's meant to touch, that the water is meant to touch, touches, that we do our wudu with the proper supplications, that we freshen our breath before we come to the masjid. I mean, just imagine the Prophet, peace be upon him, he used to use the siwak, he used to purify his mouth with the toothbrush, with the siwak, every single time he would pray, right? And he didn't make it a hardship on the ummah by uh, legislating that we all had to do that, but it was in preparation for meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So prayer on time shows that you're prioritizing Allah in terms of schedule. And then the way that you pray shows that you're prioritizing Allah over your thoughts and your distractions. Now, wudu and the purification and the way that you clean yourself and the way that you really prepare yourself for those meetings really speaks to that longing that you have for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what the scholars mentioned. Imam al-Ghazali rahimahullah, he said that when one of you goes to meet their most beloved one, then they make sure that they're, they're properly, you know, uh, they're, they're properly dressed, that they've, uh, that they've washed up, that they've sprayed their best cologne or perfume, that they've combed their hair, combed their beards, whatever it is, that they've prepared themselves in the most beautiful of ways. So how is it when you go to meet Al-Wadud, when you go to meet the most loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who loves those that purify themselves? The way that you prepare yourself shows your anticipation. And so taking care of the wudu is a means of taking care of that prayer as well, and a means of showing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that great desire that you have to meet with Him. And these are things that are to be taken into consideration with uh, how we beautify ourselves, which we'll talk about inshallah in a future episode, but just removing things that would be offensive. So the Prophet peace be upon him said, you know, don't come to the masjid, don't come to the mosque with uh, garlic breath or ha after having eaten onions because that's offensive to the angels. It's obviously offensive to the people next to you as well, but it's offensive to the angels as well. Taking care of those things is a means of ikram. It's a means of generosity to those that are around you as well, even the angels whom you can't see, but more than anything else, a means of anticipation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you're doing your wudu, uh, you know, the Prophet peace be upon him taught us very profoundly, by the way, to use the minimal amount of water because a lot of people they think that, you know, I need to purify myself. So that means let me just splash as much water on me as possible. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, used very little water, but it was the attention that he paid, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be on to him, to making sure that the wudu was touching the fingers properly, getting in all of the places that it needs to get, that a person, even when they wash their feet, they go between the toes. These things seem minimal, but they express something greater. They express a greater attention and a greater appreciation. And as we talked about in our work, we should have itqan, that attention to detail. Likewise, in our worship, there should be attention to detail. And the way we prepare ourselves with purification is part of that atten attention to detail. We ask Allah to make us amongst those that are spiritually purified and physically purified when we go to meet him for the sake of spiritual purification. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. See you all next time, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.